Ratio of can savings to bell savings is 2 to 3. Right? They give us the ratio at first. So we will start off with the ratio. For this question, it's slightly different from the previous one. Okay? Because you'll be getting the ratio in terms of the units. And of course, in the end, you also get the units. Okay? So we'll focus on the units for this. So can to bell, 2 to 3. After that, the next line, each of them actually spend $18 on food. So they spend the same amount of money. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write this in. Okay, I'll leave a little gap. Okay. Each side, you minus an 18. Okay. Then the next part. Ken has three feet as much money as Bell. So this is what we learned previously in terms of the numerator will follow the first mention and then the denominator will follow the second mention. Alright, so you can see that can will be three units, bell will actually be five units. So you can then put this down, three to five. Okay, so if you see that they actually spend the same amount of money, it means that it falls under difference and change. You've got to look for the difference in terms of the units at first and the units in the end. Alright, so we'll be looking at difference. Okay. So the difference for the first ratio, 3 minus 2, you get 1. The difference for the after ratio here, 5 minus 3, we get 2. Okay, and you can see 1 and 2 is different, right? We are supposed to make this 2 to be the same. And making it the same means this one has times 2, right? So respectively, this whole ratio here, you have to actually multiply by 2, the equivalent. And you will get 4, 6, and 2. Okay? Once you get this 4, 6, and 2, right? Now, what you can do is to actually compare either the 4 with the 3 or the 6 with the 5. Either one, if you use to compare, right? 4 minus 3, you get 1. 6 minus 5, you also get 1. And you will see that this difference of 1 will be the $18 that they spent. Okay? So, if I were to take just one side of it, this one you will be 18. So when you find the one you 18, now we look at what the question asks for. They ask for the total savings at the end. So total savings at the end will actually be the 3 U and the 5 U. Okay? So total units, 8 U. So we're using this 1 U 18 to look for the 8 U. You get 144, but please remember to put the dollar sign because this money is on, I mean this question is on money, alright? Okay. 